Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's July 11th. Next 10, 15 days, it's gonna be upper 80s, lower 90 temperatures. Perfect for everything you see here for my summer crops. Recently, I put in shade cloth into this section. I will link the video that talks about how to use shade cloth, why you use shade cloth. It really helps with tomatoes and peppers, your warm season crops. But it also can be used to plant cool weather crops. And the, how I'm gonna be doing that is July 11th again, Shade cloth will keep the temperatures under here 10 to 15 degrees cooler. The soil temperature will drop. So the root zone of these cool weather crops will think, you know, the temperatures in the upper 70s. That's okay warmth wise to get your cool weather crops started. Now, before we get to planting and setting up the soil and all that, this is how it kind of works in short. Cool weather crops go into the ground when it's cool. The temperatures are 50 degrees, 60 degrees. The root systems stay cool. The plants usually can take a frost. They come out of the ground. Above ground temperatures could be 50, 60, 70. Perfect, the cool weather crops do their thing. When the soil temperature starts getting into the 70s, when the temperatures start getting up into the 80s, the plants get the message to bolt and to flower, produce seed and all that. So you can't really grow cool crops because they don't have that prolonged cool period to just develop leaves and develop the things that we want to eat. By using the shade cloth now, I just wanted to cut in real quick. In the video description is a video talking about how do you select the right percentage shade cloth. They come in like 40%, 50%, 60%. How I set this up with clothespins and then just showing you real quick in that video how to kind of set this up using grommets and hooks or tying it off so that it's easy to take up and put down. That video is really worth watching. It will answer a lot of questions on how you select this and kind of set it up for growing. Uh, cool weather vegetables or for protecting your warm, your warm weather crops. July 11th, I can set this space up, start my cool weather crops, and I'm going to get them earlier to the table, meaning this will keep them cool as the cool temperatures, temperatures actually show up in September. I will be harvesting cool weather crops and I will continue to use the shade cloth through July through August. Maybe I'm starting a little bit too early, that's okay. You got to experiment, you got to figure out how it works. But shade cloth is going to create a microclimate under here where it's 10 to 15 degrees, degrees cooler. Yeah, that's easy for me to say on the plant. But more importantly, it's going to keep that soil temperature cool. Last thing is my morning sun is coming in here. You can already see that the shade is starting to come around and the southern sun is back there. So this is just not gonna get intense heat. I have it set up nicely so that the sun can't come in from the sides, can't come in from the top, and if I wanted to, I could just, you know, pull this over. Sun still gets through, sunlight will still get to the cool weather crops, they're gonna be able to grow, they're gonna do their thing, they're just not gonna flower and bolt, and I should be getting them earlier to the table. Okay, let's set up the soil. Soil prep is pretty straightforward. So if you have compost, I have a lot of it. I know all of us don't have a lot. You would put down a couple inches of compost across the whole bed and then kind of work it into that top for six, in six inches of the soil. If you don't have that, any organic granular fertilizer that has N, P, and K represented, I recommend just getting what's on sale. And you would put down the fertilizer so it looks something like that across your bed. Organic fertilizer, or I'm sorry, granular fertilizer is a slow release. It'll break down, it'll feed the plants over the weeks and months. And you would just cover the bed that way. You could use a combination of both, you know, compost and a fertilizer, whatever you wanna do. Just don't over fertilize it. Sometimes too much nitrogen can be a problem for like radishes and other plants. Rare, but you know, you just don't need it. You don't need to spend the money. So what's kind of cool, these little plants right here, that one, that's pak choy or bok choy. I let it seed, so some of the seeds fell to the ground. So with the right temperatures now, this has been up for about a week, those seeds are actually starting to germinate. Now I'm gonna be growing different plants here, again, July 11th, maybe I have to push this forward by a week or two, you know, going forward, so take notes. I'm gonna do peas, let's see, if we can get them in there. I'm gonna do peas on the left side, two kinds of radishes, I'm gonna do spinach, lettuce, some carrots, let's get them in frame, <laughs> some carrots, and then some beets. And this will be kind of a test bed to see how they do. I can tell you, when you touch this, it's nice and cool. Also gonna clear out the potatoes from there, fill that up. So I'll fill up all these beds, get them ready, and I'll show you the planting. Here's 
a good example. So inside, I have a cucumber plant. Yep, cucumbers don't mind some shade. Look how nice and green and healthy that plant looks. Coming out here, now that the sun has been up for a while, you can see these leaves are starting to droop. And this plant's okay, but with the heat, the summer crops sometimes shut down because they're just like, it's way too hot. I'm not gonna put resources into making cucumbers or tomatoes or peppers. So they just kind of sit still and they wait for the temperatures to drop. So that's how shade cloth can help your warm crops. If you were able to, and you pick this up, this is actually warm all the way down to about the second inch. The other soil was cool. That's the whole goal. We want the cool weather crops to be in a cool place. So all they're thinking about doing is just growing nice leaves and nice roots for us to harvest, not flowering and bolting and going to seed. Soil is set up, just don't over fertilize. You just don't have to with these crops. Uh, for the leafy greens, they tend to like nitrogen. So a water soluble nitrogen later on will be great for them. This is how I just set this up real quick. Peas spaced something like that. I will push them down to about a half an inch deep to one inch deep. The soil's really lo loose, so the plant seeds will germinate, they'll be fine. Planting depth and spacing is a little bit overrated. Seeds wanna germinate, they wanna grow. This is how I tend to plant just about everything. I use finger holes, maybe an inch to two inches apart, depending what it is. Two radishes in each hole. I don't recommend thinning anymore. Uh, both of the bulbs will form nicely. You can take one a little bit early eat that and then let the other one to kind of continue to grow full size if you're concerned. So I have two radish types in there, spinach, red romaine, a red leaf lettuce, some carrots, and you can see I'm pretty much just doing these different finger holes. Follow and subscribe and I'll show you how I take care of these. And what you do is you harvest in between here. So what do I mean by that? When this maybe is kind of more of a baby lettuce, you take that out, you leave the lettuces here to have more space and then they can grow into a full head of lettuce. So you can start planting things more closely together and you can eat them and thin them so that whatever's left can get to a full mature size. It's really up to you how you want to do it. And then down there I have beets. I'll cover these over obviously and then I'll water everything in. Remember growing in under shade cloth isn't about growing in shade. It's about growing in reduced sun. There's plenty of sunlight coming in here. It's just going to keep the soil cooler, the temperature cooler, so these cool weather crops can think they're, you know, closer to fall and they can grow and do fine without rushing to become flowers and seed pods and this way we can eat and enjoy them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I'll show you how the experiment goes, how I take care of these plants, and I'll be planting up in there under shade cloth too. I'll be doing more peas in there, probably the uh, sugar daddy, the ones that you can eat the pot. These are shelling peas over here. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And real quick, let's come over here because it's about an hour and a half later since I started the video. Cucumber plant in there. Looking good, looking cool. Yeah, cool as a cucumber, how to say it. But look at this guy. More drooping, and it's just, you know, trying to deal with the hot sun. This was watered yesterday, so there's plenty of moisture in there. It's not a watering issue. Shade cloth really makes a difference for your warm, crop, <laughs> warm crops, and it will allow you to start planting your cool crops sooner in the summer. Give it a try. Again, thanks for watching.